All right, guys, Sylveon GX, is it still good? We're going to go in and play a match and see if we can deck out our opponent and possibly win, guys. I don't know if this deck is still good. I haven't played with it since Shining Legends came out, and I know there's been a lot of new stuff. So let's see if we can possibly still do a good job with this Sylveon GX deck, Wicked Fairy. So... We're going to get into it, guys, and see if we can possibly get a victory for everybody watching out there. Like always, decklist will be in that description below. So if you're interested, go check that out, modify it, make it the way that you want it to be to be awesome. And we don't start off with any basic Pokemon, but we are going first. So that is definitely a plus for us, guys. We're going to be redrawing seven cards. And fairly soon, we are going to be seeing exactly what we are going to be going against. Will we be getting a victory? Will we not? Who knows, but we will find out shortly. In case anybody has not seen this deck before, the purpose of it is to make your opponent deck out. You kind of discard as many energies as possible off your opponent's Pokemon until eventually they don't have any more energies or a way to get energies and they keep trying to draw out of their deck until they no longer have any more cards. We'll see what happens though. Like I said, I have not played with Sylveon GX in quite some time we do start off with a talent flame which is actually a very good start so we'll go ahead and throw the talent flame out there and we do have an energy for the talent flame also so that second turn i can go ahead and arrow blitz and search for some stuff that i need Ooh, we also get an eevee which is really good because we're going to evolve up right away actually we're not going to waste any time. We cannot attack our first turn, so there's no point in wasting the energy on the Talon Flame right now. We could Skyla. Skyla is not going to do much for me because of our opponent ends. They have a chance of getting rid of whatever trainer card I decide to pull out. So we'll just go ahead and end our turn right there. We do have another Fairy Energy ready for that Arrow Blitz if we decide to use that instead of Magical Ribbon. Arrow Blitz is a very good attack with that 40 damage and being able to search for any two cards in your deck. We see a Max Elixir. They do miss, so they're not able to get that Psychic Energy onto the Mewtwo on the bench. And let's see, guys. Let's see, let's see. They might be able to do something. If they get this Mewtwo built up, we may have some trouble, but I think they're going to need some time unless they have a Mew in the deck to set them up. They do have Shadow Shot, which does 30 damage times the number of Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. So we do see a Spirit Link go on to the Mewtwo. So we're going to be seeing a Mewtwo, a Mega Mewtwo EX in this deck. Uh, we see a DCE, which is not going to do anything until they evolve into the Mega Mewtwo. So, we'll see what they're doing. Hmm. I do have that Enchanted Hammer. I mean, Enchanted. Uh, the Enhanced Hammer, so that I can remove that DCE off of my opponent's active Pokemon. We do see a Tapu Lele GX with that one attack ability. So, let's see what they're going to be taking out on us. And if they're going to be using something against us this turn something for their self they have not used a support card yet so we'll see i'm not exactly sure what they're looking for okay they're looking for a professor sycamore so that they can get some more cards in their hand possibly more max elixirs they don't use anything okay back to our turn enhance hammer for sure 100 percent we're gonna go ahead and retreat this talent flame we are gonna add energy to him and do I want a Skyla? Hmm. I'll go ahead and Skyla. And I will grab out another Enhanced Hammer. And then I'll go ahead and Magical Ribbon and take out more cards so that I'm able to discard off of my opponent's Pokemon. That way making it very hard for them to attack, but we'll see what happens. We'll go ahead and grab two Crushing Hammers and a Team Flare Grunt. So basically our opponent needs to end, but we know they're going to Sycamore because that's what they grabbed out of their deck last time with the top with Lele GX and that Wonder Tag ability. So pretty sure they're going to be Sycamoring and we're going to be okay. I do have some Max Potions in my deck, so if they do decide to do some damage to us, we should be okay. I think that's only like 90 damage right there. 
we'll see what happens so we'll we'll see if they have some tricks up their sleeve if not we should be okay psychic infinity 4 90 100 damage wow I actually thought it was 90 but it's plus 10 so that's 100 damage total we'll go ahead and hmm we'll remove the DCE from our opponents active what do I have in here I have a Skyla I don't think I have a float stone I might have a float stone, but I'm not 100% sure. I could get the crushing hammer back with the puzzle of time. But I think I'm going to wait, guys. I'll just go ahead and retreat my Sylveon GX. Bring up my Talon Flame. I will Arrow Blitz. And I will grab out a Max Potion and a Fairy Energy. So, one Fairy Energy. Come back over here and grab a max potion. Now our opponent's probably gonna probably gonna Guzma and find a way to get back out and knock out our Sylveon GX. So we really have to be careful there. We do see it in the max elixir. I'm sure they're gonna hit because they missed the last one. And they'll attach one energy to their bench mute to EX. I'm waiting for an energy to go on to the Mega Mewtwo. Oh, we do see another DCE. And Psychic Infinity is not able to knock out the Talent Flame. Very nice, very nice. So, this is what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and attach right here. Yes, we would like to evolve. Sylveon GX is going to come out, but we don't have one, so I kinda made, I made a mistake. Okay, a little bit of a misplay there, but we'll go ahead and max potion onto this Sylveon. We're not gonna be able to use it unfortunately because I made that misplay however what can I do crushing hammer and I'll discard this energy off of the Mewtwo EX on the bench and I'll go ahead and use puzzle of time and I'll grab both of my enhanced hammers out of my discard pile and put them into my hand And I will go ahead and use the Enhanced Hammer. And go ahead and attack with Arrow Blitz. I need to grab one Fairy Energy once again. And I'll go ahead and grab a Crushing Hammer. And a Fairy Energy. Where are you, Fairy Energy? There you are. Okay. Our opponent is down to 32 cards in their deck. They still definitely have a chance to do something. We got rid of three DCEs already, which means they probably have one more in their deck, if not in their prize cards. They attach one energy to the Mega Mewtwo, and they end their turn. They're not going to be able to do anything else. So, what are we going to do? Well, try Crushing Hammer. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hmm. We will go. We'll, we'll go ahead and Team Flare Ground this turn, guys. Well, Team Flare Ground, we will go ahead and attach one energy to our Sylveon. And we'll go ahead and retreat the Talon Flame and use Magical Ribbon. I don't think I have. Let's see. Oh, I actually do have two more Puzzle of Time. So I'll go ahead and grab the two Puzzle of Times. And I'll go ahead and grab a Crushing Hammer. That should be pretty nice. Should be able to discard the cards that I need to get rid of on my opponent's side of the field. Of course, if they do use an end, we will be losing most of these cards. But we will be getting six new cards back up. One more energy onto the Mega Mewtwo EX. What's going to happen, guys? Are they just going to keep attaching one energy? We'll see. Okay, so there. They decide to go with that. What should I take out? I'm going to take out a Team Flare Grunt and a Crushing Hammer. So we'll go ahead, Puzzle of the Time. A uh, Crushing Hammer and a Team Flare Grunt. Team Flare Grunt is the guaranteed Crushing Hammer. I do have to flip. I will be using Crushing Hammer because I do want to use Team Rocket's Handiwork also. That did get the heads. Luckily for me, Team Rocket's Handiwork heads 
and oh three heads in a row nice guys so now our opponent's down to 26 cards in their deck and now we use magical ribbon and we okay we do have another team rockets handiwork very nice right there and what else can I use against my opponent right now? A delinquent, maybe? I don't see any stadium cards up right now, but maybe there will be one coming soon. And we'll go ahead and grab a max potion, just in case something happens to our Sylveon next turn. Now, if our opponent does have an N, like I did say before, they will be flushing our hand away, but let's see what they're up to. So far, they've only been able to attach one energy per, per turn, which means that they're probably going to be going down fairly quickly. We have Pomeria in our hand just in case our opponent did decide to do something like this. I could use a Crushing Hammer. I think I'm going to go ahead and use a Crushing Hammer. Oh, we get the Tails. I'll go ahead and try it again. Oh, we get the Tails. Do I need to? I think I need to discard. I need to discard that energy from that Pokemon. So I'll go ahead and get rid of an Oranguru. And I will get rid of a Delinquent. Because I don't see any stadium cards. I don't think our opponent's going to be putting any stadium cards in place. So we got rid of that energy. And we will go ahead and. Hmm. I don't want to put both of those Pokemon back in his hand. I don't want to use Plea GX, but I could go ahead and hit him for 110, which is not going to knock him out, but it could knock him out next turn, so he's got to be very careful now. If he does have a DCE, I don't think he's going to be able to knock me out, so we should be okay. We might be able to get this knockout on this Mega Mew TVX, guys. We're going to see what happens. Okay, Max Elixir once again. And they're going to hit it. They miss it. Okay, so no energies this turn. Let's see what happens, guys. I keep saying let's see what happens. I got to stop that. Oh, Professor Sycamore. So they are going to be getting energy because they're going to be pulling out seven new cards. It's exactly what they we want them to do. So now they're at 17 cards. And now it's time to try and get that deck out that we've been wanting to get with this Sylveon GX deck. So hopefully we can get it, guys. Our opponent may concede before that even happens. We do see a max elixir, and they miss once again. So they need they need the energy. They need some type of energy to get onto their Pokemon. We see an energy recycler. Put five basic energies back into your deck. That's only five. Hmm. We have a lot of ways to discard. So I can't say I'm too worried about that just yet. But we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. So we'll go ahead and use Team Rocket's handiwork. Well, we get two heads again. Very nice. And we'll go ahead and knock out this Mega Mewtwo EX. And grab our first two prize cards, guys. It'd be pretty crazy if we actually win by getting our prize cards. I don't think that's going to happen, but that would be pretty awesome. We do have the Team Skull Grunt ready, so if they do have two energies in their hand, we will be discarding them. I don't think they have any right now, unless they did just draw one. And now we wait, guys. Uh, we're pretty good set up on our side of the field. We're just waiting to see what our opponent's going to do. So they do end. They're going to bring us down to four cards, although we can use that magical ribbon and get three more cards that we need in our hand for next turn. We still get a max potion, so I'm pretty happy about that. I do have another Sylveon in my prize card, so it would be pretty cool if I can get that out. Um, not, not a very good idea by my opponent. So I'll go ahead and Guzma. I'll bring out the Mewtwo EX. And I'll bring out the Talonflame. We'll go ahead and retreat. We'll attach, hmm. We'll just go ahead and attack with Fairy Wind. If they, if they evolve into a Mega Mewtwo, they already have a tool card on the Mewtwo X, so it's going to skip their turn. So right now, all they're going to be able to do is, I believe, 60 damage with another Psychic Energy. It's not going to knock me out. We are going to be able to knock out this Mewtwo EX. 
I do have the max potion in hand, but however, if I do use the max potion, I will not be able to attack with Sylveon GX. So that's something else that I do have to watch out for. For Professor Sycamore. And we see an Ultra Ball. Our opponent only has eight cards left in their deck, so they really have to watch out right now. And we see in the Krasma, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. I wonder what he's going to do with the Necrozma. It does 90 damage to us. We are going to be knocking him out this turn. And our opponent did decide to concede. So that is a victory with the Sylveon GX deck. We didn't get a deck out like I wanted to, guys. But our opponent was all the way down to 8 cards. They did feel like they didn't have the win left in them. So they decided to concede. Anyways, Sylveon GX deck is still good, guys. It's still a very good deck to discard your opponent and make them concede or make them deck out so with all that said guys check out the deck list in the description if you guys want to make a different variation of it that's awesome go ahead and do that make it better make it brilliant with all that said you guys are awesome and like always it's jp positive and i'm out